Increasing the homeless, devaluing the NHS and education. Whilst talking about individual freedom, she's increasing state power under personal parliamentary dictatorship. Mrs. Thatcher is the head of an elected government. In ten years, she's she surrounded herself with spineless. See you tomorrow. Have a nice party. And you, you look great. Call me at midnight. Yes. I do, because then maybe they'll do something about this awful woman. Happy New Year. Already? Mm. Cheers. I've cleaned everything. So no bad luck. Mm. <laughs> no bad luck. Listen, I'm sorry we've had so many fights. But I do love you. And I do want you here. <laughs> What's all this? Hello, baby. Nothing. Nothing. Mm. And so, with Big Ben getting set to time 12... Oh, well, just a few minutes left for resolution. Oh, God, I never make mine till at least well, August. <laughs> you never make any at all. I never make any at all. Sally and I have. And face oh, no. the 90s together. We've decided no more IVF. No more fertility clinics. We're going to stop trying. We're going to concentrate on what we've got, not what might have been. Well, I'm glad. I mean, I'm sorry, but I'm glad. Yeah. Hey, look, quick! What? What? Piece of coal, no. cake. Anyone got a gold coin, a pound oh, coin, what? a pound coin? Why? Quickly, oh, Mark, get up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah. go out the door, quick! We're gonna, we're gonna miss it. What? Stop no, 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 no. Do it! What about Eric? Eric, <laughs> he doesn't know. Why do I get to do it? And he gets to sit. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Yeah. Eleven. Twelve. <laughs> Happy New Year. Fuck. <laughs> marry me. Come on, we got a year's good luck. No, I mean it. I mean marry. Oh, marry please, me. Mark, no. Marry. Come on. Did little 
island of Cuddy is a completely isolated community, a hundred miles from the mainland, a hundred miles from the nearest cinema or dance hall. Oh, but the islanders know how to enjoy themselves. They have all that they need. Angela! Disaster overwhelmed this little island. Not famine, nor pestilence, nor hit not really bomb, this, are you? or the horde. Apparently not. At the risk of boring you, this year I will be 50. And what have I got? I, uh, two books, two daughters. A failed marriage. We're not going to talk about marriage, are you? I live in your house, yeah, with your kids. If you were in my position, you would call this some kind of chauvinist trick. Why don't you put your name on the title deeds? Now, that would make some sense. Deeds, I need deeds. If we were all right, who needs a house? But we are all right. We were all right yesterday. Yesterday? Imagine this. You noticed me first time in months. You noticed me! Listen, I had no work to do. The children were away. I, I had some time. Yeah, I want some kind of commitment. You've got commitment. I want a public display. Call me old-fashioned. You are old-fashioned. I want an announcement. I want some kind of announcement. You want a wife at home so that you can feel free to screw around. Free? I'll tell you about free. Free means you can kick me out. Free means I can walk. I'll walk. Don't you worry about it. This time it's serious. It's getting really bad. He's moody and aggressive. He stays out of the house as long as possible. Pretty soon I'll get angry. Then I'll get defensive. And I'll get lonely and I'll cry. And he'll think he's broken me, so he'll come back as long as I promise to think about getting married. It's always the same. I can't understand why what we've got isn't enough for him. I mean, somehow bits of paper are going to make him feel more confident. Well, maybe they would. In the eyes of society, a husband is a responsible man, even if he is a shit. But what's a lover? Whoever takes a lover seriously. I do. What would you do if you wanted to get married and Mark refused all the time? Especially if he were younger than you, and your career was on the way and whilst his was on the rise, and he'd already kicked out one woman before. Well, exactly, that's my point. Marriage is a guarantee of nothing. Anyway, I thought you were supposed to be my friend. When I was married, I did wifely things and felt James had rights over me. Nobody has rights, and I don't want to be in that position again. If Mark could stop thinking of marriage as the only way of feeling secure, then maybe we could be lovers again. Well, at least be kind to him. He loves you. Yeah, well... There isn't anyone else, is there? His libido is as flat as a pancake. Mind you, that's what I thought about James. <laughs> you know, you're lucky. You and Eric share things. I really admire you. I think you were great to go on trying for kids that long, and I think you're great to know when to stop. Well, actually, I've been thinking. If I didn't tell Eric, if it worked, he'd be pleased, and if it didn't, he... But it's his baby, too. I mean, what about sperm? Or maybe they've kept it, frozen it or something. You know, he might be right. You have thought about nothing else for ten years. But if I give up, where's the future? Hello. Hello. Well, Tessa Pascoe, Professor, don't you remember? Oh, yes, of course I do remember, yes. How are you? I'm fine. I I've been in Paris for 18 months working. But I I'm back now. I'm helping my father with some paperwork. Oh, yeah. It, it was great of you to help him. Really, I'm grateful. 
Well, it's um, nice to see you again. Well, I'm free for lunch. Well, I could buy you a thank you drink. Um, yes, that would be lovely. That would be fine. I'll meet you here, okay? Thank you. <laughs> to come in with you. I could wait over there if you like, or I'll gladly come in. I'll wait over there, okay? Good luck. See you later. Bye. Bye. Now, you've had three procedures. The first carried to seven weeks, the next failed, the third carried to six weeks. The first two were with me on the National Health, the third privately at the clinic. You do realize that any further treatment would have to be done privately. With your history, at your age, the NHS would no longer consider you. It's not a problem. Did your husband come with you today? Pity. How does he feel about another girl? He's... <clears throat> he's not that keen. Look, I'm not a patient. I'm not ill. Surely something can be done. Cases like yours I always find particularly difficult. It sounds harsh, but the greatest help I can give you is to say no. To find you a counsellor, someone to talk to. At best, only 10% of women become pregnant through in vitro fertilization. At your age, with your history, the prognosis is virtually nil. In all but fertility, you're a young woman. I have money. The answer is still no. But if Eric agrees, would you do it then? Please. I'd rather it were you. You think long and hard, Mrs. Lawrence. If you're absolutely sure, if your husband agrees, then you come back to see me. I didn't know how you felt about um, pickled onions. I got them anyway because... Uh... Well, do you like them? Oh, yes. Well, great. I only eat them if the man I'm with does. Well, I, I, you know, I love them. I, I... Do you think I can have a cloth, please? I spilled my beer. Can I ask you a question? Thanks, Certainly. Are you married? Um... No, I, I live with a friend. Charity. <laughs> such a silly name. I know. But I think my name's pretty stupid too. No, no. My parents have never had any taste. I mean, Daddy didn't even use the money he took for anything useful, like shares. A bungalow is just so suburban. Yeah. Anyway, I asked you the question about being married because I don't have affairs with married men. I'm at that stage in my life. I want to settle down. I want to be a wife. I want to have children. I'm sure you do. I'm glad we got that out of the way. Should we get another drink? It's me. Sally all day. I'm hours behind with this. Book's due in a week. This 
stew in a week. Don't um, forget. Now, you must try some of this cheese. I went to see Mr. Morse today. He said we could, if you were willing, we could give it one last try. I didn't marry you to have children. I married you. Now, I'm sorry it hasn't worked out, but I won't let us be destroyed. But, but it's always about us. It's never about me. What about me? It won't work. It might. All the time that we've been married, I've never wanted another woman. I fancied some, sure, but I've never wanted them. But I can't remember the last time we were lovers. It's all been tests, timings, temperatures, lying in bed for 30 minutes after. And then it's the doctors and the specimens and the waiting, and grieving for the ones that die, for the ones that don't even get started. I miss you, Sally. Please. It's what you want. Early night. Um... I was just going to uh, finish this. And I need a bath and uh, whatever. Oh, shucks. That can wait, can it? I'll be up in a minute. You trying to tell me something? No. Nope. Then why are you so angry? I'm not. Bullshit. All right, yes, I'm angry. I'm really, really angry, and you know perfectly well why. So? Well, because I'm not at your service 24 hours a day, I'm wrecking the relationship. And if you can't get a hard-on, that's my fault too. Yep. Your type went out with the ark. Three months' notice. No appeal. That's 15 years' work down the drain. Unfinished. Hello, baby. What's the point? There's a garden. Now. Why? Well, because I really don't care what you wear. You know, I, I, I don't want some new man. I want the father of my children to be a, a real man. Yeah, but I just can't. I hate all this stuff. All this lean cuisine and... It, it, minute, what about the tie? It's a terrible tie. You don't like the tie? It's an awful tie. Should I take it off? Yeah. Okay. You know, I, I hate all this stuff about men changing nappies and, and, and searching for the lost orgasm, you know? And they blame it on tight trousers and, and, and say they raise the scrotum temperature and, and lead to impotence, yeah. you know? And we end up with you all in baggy trousers and boxer shorts. But it's really the fault of, of women like your charity. Yeah. You know? Women who just want to control, who seem to have to deny men their natural need to dominate. I know, I know. Live with me. And then you can stop wearing ridiculous ties and you can wear your wife fronts again. As long as they gaze on what 
to Lucan Center. They are in paradise. If it's of uh, any interest at all, which I don't suppose it is, it, I haven't, um, you know, uh, slept with her. Oh. <coughs> How long? Three months. Three months and you haven't slept with her? She doesn't believe in... Uh, Sex before marriage. <laughs> Do you love her? I don't have to um, struggle with her. How you do with me? I haven't done anything. I haven't. I love you, Charity. I love you. I don't want to leave you. But you're doing to me what most women complain that career-obsessed men do to them. I'm... You take me for granted. Well, I do. I do. But we live together. We, we have for years we've lived together. I can't marry you now. Not after this. <sighs> Not yet. Well, then soon. If you ever... Ever, ever see her again. Oh, I won't, baby. Honestly, go ahead. be like starting all over again. I don't think I can do that. Yeah, but you wouldn't be on your own. <laughs> you wouldn't be. You wouldn't be on your own. I'd be with you. You wouldn't be. <laughs> you wouldn't be. But what would you do if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? Lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song. I will try not to sing out of key. Yeah. Oh, baby, how do I Oh, 
I want to cook for you. Flowers. I want you. Do what you did to Jane. Leave charity. Jane changed the lot. Oh, isn't that just like you, to make her feel better by making her feel she'd done it herself? So do the same to Charity. Make her kick you out. Then you can live with me. <laughs> Come here. Oh, well, I must be, um... Uh, Fontaine. Yes. Thank you very much indeed. That's absolutely delightful. Uh, <laughs> look, I, um... Hello. Hello. I have to... I want to talk to you. Well, let me say something first. Okay. It's sort of a birthday present. I've decided to marry you. Mum, there's a bloke arrived with the quiches, and he wants paying. Oh, don't be too long, because there's masses to do before the party. No. And what did you want to say? No, uh, nothing. No, no. This is. I uh, thank you for this. No, Tom, come in, stupid. Put him over there by the fridge on top of the bed. No, I can. You're so pathetic. And this is my son, Harry. He's at Kent reading sociology. Hi. <laughs> you can sort him out. Hi. 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 How are you? Judy made it. I did it last You all right? Anyone for a top Very bright boy. Don't listen to him, whatever you do. For God's sake, don't tell your mother. But your dad, you think he's a boring old fuck, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? I was at school with him. I was at university with him in 1968. 
67. Mavis, you need something stronger than that. No, 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 I'm fine with this thing. Come on, I want the college gossip. Dish the dirt. Delia's going to the LSE, right? What? <laughs> Establishment bloody figure in no time. Mark, it's gone to Suffolk. What to do? Right. Good. A pity Dr. Pascoe couldn't come. Yeah. Hey, so where's the birthday boy? I don't know, somewhere around. Hey, you've been sacked. <laughs> What happened about you and Stephen? Who told you that? Well, it's just something I've like heard. Yeah? I thought you were going up with Danny anyway. No, no, no. Have you seen Mark in there? Uh, no, he's upstairs. I'm sure you were going up with Danny last time. No, it's Steve. Really? Mm -hmm. God, this is boring. Uh, I know. Pretty chill. Yeah. You going for a smoke? Dan, don't be stupid. Oh, fuck Double fuck <laughs> So, Ivan, how are things? Oh, I'm fine. Still working on the shoplifting project. Mm -hmm. Mother's had a bout of flu. Bertrand Russell has been fighting again. Bertrand Russell? But it's the cat. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't me, you know. I wouldn't like you to think I wanted to make you unhappy. Why would I think that? Oh. No reason, really. I always thought you secretly fancied me. So? Charity, I'm bleeding. I'll get her. No, 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 please don't, don't tell him. Just let me lie here. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Hey. It doesn't mean anything, does it? I mean, it'll be all right, won't no, it? You just keep warm. That's what you've got to do. There. You're right. Now you just lie still. Go. You missed a great party. Mark's passed out in the sitting room. Sally's bleeding. She's in my room. It's been great. Do you want some tea? She'd be all right. Oh, yes. Eric's with her. great having you all here, even if it was only for the weekend. Do you miss your father? Sometimes. It's not how I planned it, you know. Well, you know what I mean. It's okay. I admit, there were times when I was really angry with both of you. I don't understand what went wrong. But I tell you, what I really don't understand, and I know it's none of my business, is why you stay with him. Look, when you get to my age, you'll understand. Come on, that's crap, and you know it. Dad was no Superman, but he, he did love you. I do remember that much. Last time I was in America... What? Sometimes he says he misses you. And he's sorry for not knowing us. And leaving here. 
I mean, he's got a good life in America. But it's not what he planned either. Maybe that's why he feels such a failure. He's not alone there, I can tell you. Ah, oh, I think it'd be easier if we were just little brains in jars and we could communicate and make love by telepathy. Life would be a whole lot easier. Wouldn't be so much fun, though. <laughs> Oh, hello, Jane. This is Charity here. I'm sorry to ring you so late, but I wondered if Mark was still there. Mark? Oh, I'm sorry, Charity. I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't seen Mark for over three months. Oh. Um. Did he tell you he was coming here? Uh, he, he told me that he, he had to see you about Susan. Um, and I thought it was tonight. I'm sorry, it's my mistake. I'm sorry to bother you. That's fine, but don't hide behind your ex-wife and make me look a bloody fool. No, you don't come in here. You tear out of my life. Let me take my life along and just tear out of it. I want you dead, you bastard. I mean it. I mean it. I hate you. I want you dead. God. I mean it. You bastard. You shit, you coward. I hate you. You bastard. That's charity. I know. You know, it's only 26 weeks. It's not going to make it. Don't you dare talk like that. Of course it is. Oh. Jack, relax. Oh. Breathe deeply. Slow, long, deep breath. Oh. It's all right, Olivia. Just go and find a doctor. Keep breathing. Out. In. Out. In. Out. It doesn't last forever, I promise you. Keep going. He's a good girl. Eric will be here soon. Mr. Lawrence, would you like to come with me? We have entrusted Annie to God's mercy and keeping, and we now commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died 
was buried and rose again for us. To him be glory for ever and ever. And to him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God our Saviour be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. I'm going to wait for Sally. Okay. How are you? It's good of you to come. Uh, well, they were my friends too, so... Um, I have a, a, a new post in Berlin. So, um... I'm really, really, really sorry about everything that's happened. I truly am. But I will be there in um, Amsterdam, Valentine's Day, uh, year 2000, okay? Okay. dead. Even if she'd lived, she'd be a vegetable. We both decided together. Of course. She hasn't spoken to me. Not since the day they switched the machines off. Give her time. Talk to her. Get her to talk, please. Machines. She was your daughter. You are a mother. No one can take that away. Right, 
don't. You won't get rid of him like that. Maybe not. It'll give me a great deal of pleasure. You and Eric are the only couple I know who really love one another and have managed to stay together. To the rest of us, it just doesn't seem possible. You didn't love each other. You weren't kind. You were just as selfish and manipulative as he was. Gender had nothing to do with it. you must keep. Now put it away. You've looked long enough. To life. To love. To love and forgiveness. And a little bit of time. To love. Too much of my time. 